Welcome back, one and all, to the Brexit Estate. Hard by the darkest dungeon, where before deciding if I'm going to purchase any crimson, uh, any crystal trinkets this week, I'm gonna check these. So we could, in the near future, build the tainted well and the miasmal orchard. Hmm. Tempting, but I think I really want to get one of these crystal trinkets. And I think... Okay, that's pretty good, but I think I'm really tempted by this. I like this, plus 20% healing skills if holy water in inventory. Because it, it gives more uses to supply items. You know, now you have a reason to want to hang on to them. Now a reason to keep them. Because they can boost trinkets. Plus 15. Dodge of medicinal herbs and inventory. That's, that's pretty good. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see. Um, This would be for a very specialized form of flagellant where you're running him low health to get to those low health requirement skills quicker and use them more often. And it would pump out his damage output quite considerably. All right, let's see now. I should probably work out a crystal trinket for Twilight Knight. I'm thinking a crystal lantern, and for the Crimson Court, a uh, lantern parasite, and some kind of blood item like the like the blood candies that are made from the congealed blood of the Manhunter. Yeah, yeah, there's a possibility. Hmm. Okay. Haven't fully committed to those yet. Hmm. But I will get this because it's just really nice and I like it. <laughs> okay. Time to head back into here. With the usual. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They're in treatment. That's a no then. Um, where can we go? It's going to be relatively short. Hmm. Or a caregivers convention, right? Low-level characters, where are you? One, two. Oh, this is going to be crazy. Three, four. Well, this will probably be a complete disaster, but let's have some fun with it anyway. Do we have any... We do! Wonderful! Now, we don't know whose hair this is. Uh, actually, Marvin Seo, the creator of the Falconer, is reworking her at the moment. There'll be a new version out eventually. Probably be a little while yet. Hmm. Okay, if we take that... Um, oh, iffy. I think this is the combination for now. Right. With him as our only healer, we're going to need to take extra food. Alright. Uh, go big. Right. Uh, lots and lots of torches. Extra shovels because it's for wield. And I am oversupplying a little 
because I want these characters to do well and come through. Um, mm, just four. I think I'll take two keys just in case. Right, that's looking like a slightly some medium length quest I might need I'll oh, go on then one more right in we go we'll get to camp hooray let's just hope we don't get ambushed hmm. <laughs> so much for a quick run eh <laughs> all right back to some nice low level fun our land is remote and unneighbored. Every lost resource must be recovered. Okay, nothing we need this way. And because it is the wield, we kind of want our flagellant to be the one invested. Well, no, we don't actually, do we? Because three of these characters benefit from high stress. Wow. Well, we've got plenty of food, so we don't need to worry about resting too much just yet. Dig our way Nature through here. A victim to the spreading corruption, malformed with misintent. We'll light another torch just to try and get a scouting check as we go in here. Ah, dogs! A pack of wild dogs is upon us. Wow, that was terrible. <laughs> okay, uh, no one. Right, you'll do. Good choice, apparently. All right, we just go for a few wild strikes. Quick sword slashes, attempting to cut these things to ribbons. Um, they got good dodge value. Apparently a really good dodge value. <laughs> oh, double reposto, that'll be fun. Maybe. Yeah, let's put a bit more healing there then. Back to the pit. Alright, let's Oh, wrong one. I need that skill to do nothing if there's no horror on other party members. More importantly, I need to swap her skills around after this fight. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Nice, nice, nice. And actually, if I go for something similar here, that could kind of work. Kind of. Uh, Felice, the former brigand, can rummage through this tent see if she finds anything of use. She found something of use, okay. <laughs> wow, she found something of use. Right, you can use that. 
you can use that. You can munch a bit on this, munch a bit on that, and we can take these back with us. Hmm. Oh, we're going to have to pick up all the medicine. We're definitely going to want to camp soon. Next room, I reckon. Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. Oh, go on, dogs! Please get a hit. And I haven't set a dodge values that high. I think they're lower than a grave robber. Around the same as a hellion, maybe a bit less. Just have to hope that the dog doesn't go for her this time. There we go. Ah, right. Yeah, this could be a problem. It is. We've got way too many torches. I should use them a little more frequently. Right. Ooh. At last. Okay, yeah, we're definitely camping here then. Um, so I need fights to last longer. And when she's got a nice high stress tally, I'm going to swap out head case for s and face time for some... Well, just head case for something else. And then she'll get head case. I really need to work some more on what their skills are going to actually do. But for now, we shall camp. Huddled together, furtive and vulnerable. Rats in a maze. I'm probably going to put a one per limit, one per party limit on this class. Also, Mother's Madness, current placeholder, doesn't really do anything like it should. However, Seeking Patterns will work. Do we have an ambush prevention? Yes, we do. She has a way to gain stealth. Yes, she does. Is there a forwards? And I suppose for shuffle parties. Yeah, okay, so we don't need to worry about that so much. Um, in that case. Now we'll just rest. It's interesting In that they seem... May we find victory. <laughs> it's interesting that there seem to be some placeholder dialogue lines that all heroes will use if others haven't been written yet. Have our good old Chirurgeon Satchel. And some more blockage to clear. Blockage, bockage. You could call it bockage, blockage, bockage. Yeah. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Oh. This will be fun. Gonna try something here. Yeah. Perfect. And then move back to there. And we go with that. Yeah, lovely. And if you could give everyone else some stress, that would be wonderful. 
uncertainty. The birthplace of dread. Hmm. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Oh no, don't do that. You don't want to do that. Otherwise, we'll just have to, like, totally kill you. Here it comes, a big payoff. I have an exact sound effect in mind for that, and I can't remember where it's from. Decimated. Right, 18 for free, perfect. Yep, I've just remembered something I need to do. I should really get on that soon. My apologies to the person who probably knows what that is, but it completely slipped my mind. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. I want you back there as a horror battery. We don't want to interact with this, but this on the other hand is quite nice. We can get benefits from this. I can't remember what it is. So... Ulverf. You can enjoy the benefits. That's really good for him. We might want to lock that when we get back to town, if we can afford it. And we have massive scouting chances at the moment, so we can probably afford it. Unless we get really unlucky. That's okay. She didn't get blighted. And we can eat some more of this food now. Because we have so much of it, and what am I doing? There. Two down, one to go. Oh, lovely! Excellent! You know what? We might get some decent treasure out of this as well as food. Nope, just food. Right. And a fight. Oh, nasty fight. Okay. Oh, please, by all means, give her stress. Wonderful. He's got good protection, so I'm trying to get a bleed on him early. It's okay, as long as they don't give us a Crimson Curse, we're all good. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Mm, do a bit of damage. Lovely! That is four. That's perfect, actually. Don't! Oh, she resisted. That was so close to being an unmitigated disaster. Speaking of unmitigated disasters, 
So, I've actually changed face time. So now, in addition to the stress, it grants a level scaling damage bonus to the others. Yet, it's a damage bonus they only receive if they've got enough... S no, it's just... I fixed it. Good. When I originally put it in, it had the if high stress requirement on it. Slowly, gently, this is how a life is taken. Although that is an interesting thematic little thing which I could have kept. The slow death, unforeseen, unforgiving. Hmm. You know what? We are nearly there. We are nearly done. I left that on purpose for little green gemstone. Right. Now, do we get a scouting check? No. Do we wish to press on? Um... We could really do with the extra treasure, but we're carrying so much of this. What are we going to find, realistically? I don't know. Let's at least push on into the next chamber and try and get a good scouting roll there. Are you a stress eater? You are! Well, that'll have to get treated, won't it? Okay, good. Not seeing any secret rooms yet. Mm, we can do some quick and hasty, dirty grave robbing. Dig up a body, see what we find. Beyond measure, awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Okay, so now... Now I think we're leaving. You know, might as well quit while we're ahead. These tonics and herbs will stave off infection and neutralize contagion. There we go. Yep. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she just like grabbed the things off the table right in front of them. They were like, hey, that's not, you're not allowed to do that. She's like, I don't care about your stupid game. You're lying. You tricked me. And she wasn't even talking to any of them, to, but to one of their voices. injuries makes this place perfect for the study of suffering. Among the visiting delegation are experts in corporeal and cognitive disability, as well as several forensic specialists. The treatment ward and medical ward are free, so let us make use of the facilities. Now, look at this. So, Something interesting that happens with the Crystal Court when you send Crystal Mercenaries in, it doesn't eat up a week of time. It doesn't advance the calendar. Which is interesting if you're playing on the hardest difficulty setting. We have 99 weeks to complete the game. But it does mean that the week and episode numbers no longer match up. So basically, I'm going to have to be looking for a short quest like The Crow or something to even it up and bring things back in line. However, Vernon no longer suffers from egomania. Sarah no longer is a stress eater. And Senna no longer has a lazy eye. Here we have a freebie. And we will absolutely use it. Ulverf, you did really well. Slugger is good. Light sensitive, not so good. Um, 
luminous. Interesting. Hmm. I haven't decided what her crit buff should be yet. So let's look at other people. We have shard mercenaries. We have one with something we absolutely do wish to... Wait. Oh yeah, of course. She hasn't lost it, it's just different. These two tie rather thematically. So I'm just going to leave that for a moment and see who else we can put in here. Who else has serious problems that could be a drip? And who does not have the Crimson Curse? Yes. Good catch. Unyielding. Wield phobe. All right. Um, hmm. Oh, yeah, of course. Um, it, hmm. The crow ones are worth locking in. Um, still need to think about her top level skills. Hey, if you've got any suggestions, because um, you know, being able to add additional resolve experience in the level 5 and 6 dungeons is not as useful. So having a higher tier ability would be useful there. Um, hmm. I mean, Explorer Quirks might be worth keeping. But what else can we... Can we lock in here? Hmm. I'm looking for... Hmm. Well, in that case, it's just gonna have to be these, isn't it? There we go! Right, we'll be going back into the Crimson Court next week. Um... A little bit of skill training or some sort of rewards probably due at some point. Um, we get anything nice? Well, we don't need all three of these, do we? We can absolutely get rid of that. And... get rid of one of these. And I'm clearly not using these enough to merit keeping three of them. So, okay. There we go. Right. I'm going to round off the episode here. I hope you all enjoyed this one, and I'll look forward to seeing you all in the next one. I'll say bye-bye for now, and cheerio, guys and girls. <laughs>